Welcome back to the news at six. You know, football season's about to kick into high gear, but finding that gear may be a problem for one local youth football league. As Terry Gruca shows us, someone may have stolen their stuff, but they didn't steal their spirit. For many of these kids, this is their field of dreams. Good work, good work, good work, good work, let's go! In a year that has been filled with challenges, sports have helped so many find a purpose. About that 20 yard line, your legs will be talking to you. Life hasn't always been easy for Topher Rogers. It's why he became a coach, to help kids find their way. When we go through struggles, and you got to learn to mentally tell that struggle, I'm the boss of you, you're not the boss of me, and um, that's just another one of those things we want to instill. Part of the purpose of Unity Select Sports is to ensure all kids get a chance to play. So even when someone can't afford a helmet or jersey, pants or shoes, this league finds a way. They've scrapped together a lot of gear over the last 15 years. I mean, helmets on helmets, we have blocking pads, sleds, uh, targets that quarterbacks would throw into. We have weights, we have medicine balls, we have like BOSU balls, we have like, <laughs> like five different types of dummies. We have tackle wheels, you roll the wheel and they run and they hit it and they roll with it on the ground. But this weekend, someone stole the trailer with all the league's football gear from the parking lot of Jubilee Wells Branch School. These pictures show some of the gear as it was being sanitized last season. It's been especially difficult for the coaches who just want to offer a place for kids to escape. How can you take this from kids? How, how these kids are going to miss out now? And it was the day before practice. Get me off of the first day of practice started like any other. Then parents learned what was lost. As an organization, we don't have any equipment other than the stuff that my coaches have went to go get out out of their storage or whatever they had. And then this happened. Parents collected as much gear as they all personally had in hopes of helping where they could. It's, uh, it's been fun to watch the parents kind of unite around this organization, realizing that what we offer these kids is, is above football, above basketball, above sports. It's way more, and they want to see their kids continue to, to be enriched by that. Get low, get low. So many life lessons are learned by competing in sports. Perhaps this is just one of those. Mentally, your mind's telling you, do it. Oh, oh. Push through that. Don't let that lie get into your head. Proof that even in times of loss, you find what really matters. One, two, three! Yay! Young men have bright futures. Now the parents there started a GoFundMe account for Unity Select Sports. They've raised, get this, nearly $6,000 so far. That number is going to get a lot bigger. But there's still a pretty big challenge now. There's a shortage of resin. So finding football helmets has been difficult. You can learn more if you'd like to help out. Look for this story at our website. That's caveview.com.